the first instance which i told you where the antenatal care and the intrapartum service was rendered by one doctor and the postpartum care was rendered by another doctor here you should assign the proper modifier sometimes all the service has to be properly coded or reported you know what this is called as an obstetric package you should understand this is way different from a surgical package we usually have a global surgical package intra post op pre op and all that pre op intra and post op right but here the obstetric package is way different from that of the global surgical package because some states might have different policies uh, uh hawaii might have a different policy florida can have a different policy and for this antepartum service the insurance might reimburse only for like specific visits like it allow only for 5 visits or 7 visits and they might do some ultrasound and they want that to be separately reported so it all depends on the practice and the payer rules especially when it comes to the obstetric package it is not that easy to code obstetric charts unless you know the uh, payer rules and the practice rules as well okay because sometimes they charge the patient and sometimes they don't charge the patient so what you need to understand is like billing for ops coding is different from that of the general surgical package as it is subject to the policies of the payer and of course the practice in where they are taking the treatment